Welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can unlock all of the gear in Hell Split Arena. That means all of the weapons, all of the armor, and all of the shields, so you can right away start training with all of the gear. Before we get started, take a minute to click the S in the corner to subscribe. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers, so that'd be much appreciated. Also, like, share, leave a comment. I'd love to hear your feedback. Let's get into it. In order to unlock all of the gear in Hell Split Arena, right from the get-go, we're going to be editing the save file of the game. Now, you can find already 100% unlocked save files on Reddit, so head on over there if you want to take the easy route. I'm going to be showing you how to use a hex editor to open up the file, see what's going on, and make the changes yourself. With that being said, we're going to need a hex editor. The hex editor that I use is HXD. And I'm going to be relying on that quite heavily in this video, so I highly recommend it. It's freeware. There'll be a link in the description. Go download HXD if you're interested in this sort of thing. You won't regret it. The other thing we're going to need to know is where the save files are on your machine. And those save files are in C slash users slash username, in this case subst, slash app data slash local slash hell split arena. Now if we go ahead and open up that directory, you can see that we have a saved directory. Now right away we can back this up because we're going to be making changes. We don't want to screw anything up, so we'll just select it, Control c Control v to paste. So now we've got a backup, so no matter what we do we can always restore our backup by copying the saved copy back over the original. So let's go into the saved directory. We have config and save games. In save games directory we have Profile 1 and autosave. So the game you can save multiple profiles, so if you want to keep one profile uh, clean and vanilla and go through the game that way, just edit a different profile. What you need to do for this to work is start a game in normal mode, go in, do a battle, that's it. All you have to do is have the profile here to save. And then it's going to show up here and we can edit it. I'm going to open up HXD. This is what HXD looks like. I will drag profile one into HXD. Now I've done maybe two or three battles in this game. It's on normal mode. The way the game progresses is you have to complete the game on normal mode and that's going to unlock hardcore mode. Now hardcore mode has extra weapons that you can unlock along the way. So to actually unlock all of the gear in game naturally you're going to have to complete normal mode and you're going to have to complete hardcore mode. But here we are, we've only reached maybe the fourth round or something like that, and we're going to unlock everything so that we can go mess around in training with all the fun gear this game has to offer. So the first thing we're going to do is give ourselves a lot of cash. And we do that by scrolling down till we start seeing the word money. We have player earned money amount. We have player spent money amount. And there's one more, we just have player money up here. So the way that HXD works is it's displaying the hexadecimal representation of the file here on this side. And it's also displaying the text representation of what's in the file on this side. Those two are separate and you have to pay attention to which is in focus at any given time, where your cursor is, but because we're gonna be making some changes and you wanna be making them in the right place. Now, in this video, we're gonna be using the data inspector portion of HXD as well to help us with some of the numbers. So we'll start with player money. So if we look at the string player money, the next string we see is int property. That means this is an integer property. And if we count, I think eight spaces after that, we end up at uh, E1. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We actually count eight after this O4. So there's int property, there's this 0, 0, 0, 004, which is telling us the size of the next value to a certain degree. Don't have to worry about it too much. But after this 0, 04, we're counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 sets of two zeros. Each of those two zeros represents a byte, but we won't worry too much about that. What you need to know is after player money, after int property, after the 0, 04, eight sets of two zeros and we'll put our cursor there and you'll see that here we have some values in the data inspector. This 1249 is the current amount of money the player has in this saved game. 
So in this case, we're going to go into the int 32. That's a 32-bit integer. And we're going to change that. We're going to change that to $1 million and hit Enter. And you can see that that's created some red in our file here. That's our change. So we've just given the player $1 million. Now we want to keep everything in line with the game. So we want to change the next value of player earned money amount because how could we have a million dollars if we didn't earn it? And this is basically the same process. We have player earned money amount. It's an integer property. And then we see after that we have the 0, 0, 0, 0004. And then we can count eight sets of two zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now we see we have a 1D here in the hex. And in our data inspector, we can see that we've earned $5,149 in the game so far. So we want to change that again to $1 million and hit enter. And again, we can see that $1 million represented in hex in this particular format is 40420F00. The next amount player spent money amount is right below and we want to change that to zero because we want to spend all our million dollars from this point forward we don't want to have some sort of bill that we've already paid so again it's an integer property and we see after int, int property we have zero 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 four and then one two three four five six seven eight sets of two zeros and then we have 3,900 is the amount that we've spent already in game. And we're gonna change that over here in our data inspector to zero. Hit enter, and we see that clears out all of the expended money in the game. Next thing we're gonna do is change the campaign type from normal to hardcore. So we'll start down here look for campaign normal and we're going to place our cursor at the beginning of normal and we're going to start typing hardcore but we're not going to finish it we're only going to type as much as we need to get to the end of normal now you'll understand in a second what we have to do is insert some letters here and that's a bit different when you're editing files like this when you change the size of the file by inserting something that can have consequences. So what we're going to do is make sure that our cursor is in the text portion because we're going to be entering text right here. And we're going to start typing hardcore. So H A R D C O. So now we've come to the end of normal. We've overwritten normal with hard co and now we need to insert some letters to finish the actual string which is hardcore. So we're going to turn on insert on your keyboard so that you're inserting text also known as INS. So search your keyboard if you're on a laptop you might need to use a function key to enable insert and you're going to see down at the bottom of HXD the mode has changed to insert. I'll toggle that back and see it's overwrite and now it's insert. So when we're on insert mode, we're going to press the R to start finishing hardcore. And it's going to say, this operation changes the file size. Yes, we want to proceed. And then we want to do E. And again, this operation changes the file size. Do we, do we want to proceed? Yes. So now we've changed the file size. We've added hardcore. We've added two characters, making the file slightly bigger. And we have to account for that somewhere else. But for now, we're going to turn off insert mode. So whichever key on your keyboard, whether it's a function insert or just insert on a number pad, make sure that you switch that back to overwrite. So now we're back to overwrite. So because we added two characters to this string, we have to go and adjust the size of this string, which is represented by a number preceding the string. And we can see that if we go to the start of E campaign type campaign hardcore right here, if we count four back to one two three four we come to a one e now that one e is rep represents 30 
and that was the actual length of that string. And now we've added two characters, so we're going to change this 30 to 32 and hit enter. So we've told the program that when it reads this file, it's got to read an extra two characters here, and the file is going to be two characters larger. That's what this size number is, or length, it can be referred to as. So now we've changed our game mode to hardcore. So we've given the player money, we've squared away all the earned money versus spent money, we've adjusted the campaign type to hardcore, and we've adjusted the length of that string to coincide with that string. Next thing we're going to do is change the level that this save game is on. And we're going to do that by changing the saved campaign ID property, which is right below the campaign type. And we can see it's back to an integer property. So we do what we do with these integer properties. We look for the 0, 0, 0, 4, and then we count 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And you can see here that we're on the fourth level, or the fourth round, or the fourth battle, or something like that. I'm not quite sure. Now, through trial and error, I've ascertained that we can up this to 34. So we'll go up to our data inspector, and this time we can go into the int 16, 16 bit integer, and we'll change this for to 34 and hit enter. And we can see that's changed this to 22. And now all our changes are complete. We've given the player money, we've changed it to hardcore, and we've put them on the very last level, what I think is the very last level. There might be one more battle, I'm not sure, but this level has all of the weapons available. So what we're gonna do now is press Control S to save the file. Now at this point, we can load up the game, and what we need to do in-game is open up the campaign of this profile and go and purchase all of those weapons that have been unlocked. Once we've done that, we'll be able to go into training and use those weapons. You can see here that once I saved it in HXD, it made a backup of that profile, just in case we made a mistake. We also have the other backup we made when we copied the entire directory, so we're covered uh, twice here in case of error. But now we're gonna load up the game, we're gonna go in and buy all those weapons and shields and armor that we've unlocked, and then we'll try some of them out in the training. All right, here we are in Hell Split Arena. We've opened up the game after editing our save file. So we're gonna go in, continue the campaign, and buy up all the gear. So profile one, there's us. Campaign. Continue. Now, like I said, there might be another battle yet. I'm not sure. Uh, but for now, we're going to buy all the gear. Well, actually, first, let's uh, check out our cash money. One million dollars. Or coins. One million gold coins. Yes. Now let's go blow it. So. Swords. Uh, short swords. So you can uh, see that uh, I haven't bought any of these. So that's a little bit of proof of the save edit working because if I'd actually completed the game, I probably would have had to buy one or two of these or would have been pretty difficult, I guess, to get through hardcore without buying any of these weapons at all. Not to mention repetitive. Okay, so I think that's us buying all of the swords. We'll go back, buy all the axes. may seem like a lot of work, but nothing compared to actually playing through the game.
Whoa. That's a long hammer. I didn't know that's what a war hammer was. Okay, so we've got all the maces, all the axes, all the swords. We'll go over here, purchase up all the body armor. Uh, leather coat we have. Brigandine we have. We'll buy that. Buy that. Buy it all. Shields. Have that one. Buy. Alright. So we bought all the body armor and shields. Now for potions, I'm not even entirely sure how these work. I haven't used them enough, but look at that. Half a million dollars worth of weapons we've uh, we just bought up. Um, so I guess you could go in and buy these. Uh, I'm going to skip them for now. And now that we've bought all the weapons and armor that we wanted, I, I guess we equipped that. Um, let's pull up the menu. We'll exit to the menu. And now we'll go in and do some training. So this time we'll go to training. And uh, let's do the frozen lake in a blizzard. That sounds like fun. Now I'll probably embarrass myself because like I said, I haven't actually played a lot of the game. But at least we can now play with, say, the katana. Put that on our back. And what armor would we like? Lamellar, that looks like a good armor to go with the katana. Templar armor, plate armor, heavy plate armor. That kind of looks a little katana-ish too. A little like uh, maybe Ramirez and the Highlander. All right, so that's equipped. All right, so now let's go back. Let's set up some enemies. Set up enemies. Normal, waves, medium, long, me uh... I guess short waves is probably good. We're not going to play this too long just to illustrate that we got this going. All right. Oh, this armor is bulky. Get our get our kicks going. Oh, there's somebody. Let's jump on into action. Where'd he go? Running away. Running away. Shouldn't there be another one? Whiffed on that. That guy's got too much armor. Misjudged the length of the katana there. around a bit. Oh, there we go. Somebody lumbering. Whoa, slippery. Let's get take a leg off. You don't need that, right? Poor head. Probably did need that. Can we grab heads? I don't even know. Nah. Whoa, what's our horse coming in for? Is that some zombie horse? There we go. Turn this guy into the Black Knight. Try out something different, so let's dump to the menu. 
and uh, we'll try a different setup, different location. Training. Let's go to the snow ruins. Go with a theme. All right. So now weapons. I don't want to try out the Flamberger or Berg. I'm not quite sure how it's pronounced. I've only seen these in museums, but that is one awesome weapon. And then armor. Let's go with something a bit softer. There we go. And then set up enemies. Max enemies. Let's go with hard. Waves, short, back, fight. Whoa. This thing's got quite the range, comparatively. sword back up. I was going to say his arm, but... Well, there you have it. That's how you can un unlock all of the gear in Hell Split Arena, having barely played the game. If you haven't already, take a minute to click the S in the corner to subscribe. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers, so that'd be much appreciated. Also like, share, leave a comment. Feedback on the video or the game. All that good stuff is appreciated. Thanks for watching. And we'll catch you next time.